Okay, hello all. Um, I want to clear a few things up um, on the up, upcoming uh, next release of uh, Arch Linux Midfinger Edition. And what I've done is I've included uh, a test user so you can um, change your user account over to whatever name you want with all these settings that I have set. So on. Uh, I'm actually recording this off a live USB uh, and I'm going to install this on my hard drive on my solid state drive so um, since I'm using a solid state I'm going to go to the uh, my backup folder here and just uh, check some HD uh, parameters uh, but first of all we'll just uh, we can go to just do an SU and we'll do an HDPR M and a dash capital I slash DEV and SDB is the one I'm using. And it's frozen right now. So what I have to do is physically go to the uh, computer tower and desktop computer and unplug both the power cable and the um, SATA cable and just wait a few seconds and then this should come back as not frozen and then I can move on all right let's run that again okay it says it's not frozen it's not locked and etc so it's just a matter of uh, taking these lines I do this just to save time uh, is to set your security pass. This is on the Arch Linux wiki anyway. And uh, security pass can be anything you want. I just used, whoops, said, I just used uh, test. So I'll just uh, control C to copy that and paste that in. Press enter. And then I want to do a secure erase, which is very quick. There, it's done. And then we do the uh, sanity check. Still not. Uh, still not frozen. Frozen, and if I do an F disk, you have to excuse me. This is uh, live, and it's uh, everything's noisy around here. F disk uh, slash L, and you can see at the bottom here, um, there's nothing allocated. All right, just the first five twelve sectors. Now onto the ins installation. I changed it up a bit. Uh, I got rid of G parted nothing wrong with it it's just I don't think it's really that necessary it's not that hard to do anyway so all you have to do is type in CF disk make sure you're in uh, the super user and whoops I better quit that CF disk in my case is uh, device SDB and here uh, I, I've noticed CF disk has been updated uh, GPT but I'm gonna use a DOS because I have legacy BIOS um, but now it gives you that choice. And free space is uh, 37. So I'm going to hit new. And just I'm going to use it all because I have uh, uh, 12 gigs of RAM. I don't really need a swap partition. <laughs> uh, primary. And it's bootable. And that's all I have to do for myself. Um, if you want a home folder, if you want to swap, you can do that as well. So I'll just hit right and type in the word yes. And then I'll press Q to quit. So this is similar to just installing Arch Linux, but uh, a few things different, of course. So now we have to make our file system. So mkfs.extension4 slash device sdb1. Uh, make sure that you have the right uh, drive because you don't want to format another partition or something and you lose your data. So this will take a bit uh, of time uh, for a solid state drive. All right, so it's been written to, and we should be able to just mount the device SDB1. So mount slash DEV slash SDB1 to slash MNT. And as always, you can do a list out, ls, and it's just lost and found, but we know that it's there. It's the partition is ready to go. 
Now I've removed the drag and drop installer. And I just named the, uh, it, I put it in the USR bin. I just uh, named it AME, Arch Linux Midfinger Edition. So you just type that in, AME. That's it. Press enter. So it'll just copy everything to whatever you specified. Um, but this is the system that's going on to the uh, mounted partition. So I'll let this uh, run through a bit. Okay, so it's uh, finished copying over to the mounted uh, partition. Uh, apologies, I totally forgot I had a desktop zoom. I didn't want to turn on Compiz uh, just in case the recording decides to crash. But the Alt and mouse wheel up and down will zoom in. So I'll clear the screen. And uh, we'll have to generate our file system table. So G-E-N-F-S tab slash M-N-T. Two arrows out to slash mnt Etsy fs tab, and we'll just check that, and we'll just uh, cat. Make sure you have that right. Extension four, the right uh, mounted device, and then we just uh, arch, press tab, ch root to slash mnt. Do a list out again. There's our um, Linux installed. And we just have to run our mk init uh, dash p linux again. Let that go through. All right, then uh, just install grub. I have to be careful this one. Grub dash install slash device. In my case, it's sdb. <laughs> I don't want it to anywhere else. So it's dedicated to hard drive. There we go. And then grub mk config dash o boot grub grub dot cfg all right good enough and it i forgot to remove os prober and it found windows that's okay so we'll just uh, exit out of here and you mount mount slash mnt dash capital r exit Nope, sorry, it's already, I've already exited. So I'll zoom out, but I'm going to have to reboot the uh, system. So I'll be back uh, when this is rebooted, and we'll move on. Okay, so I'm back after installing, and I logged into the test user. There's a few things uh, that have to be worked out, uh, but eventually uh, I'm logged in. So I want to do this in a on a live session, and hopefully we can get this to, to work. So all this stuff here you don't really need but uh, this is what we need here I think we can do a sudo on this uh, because if I do su uh, the mid finger will uh, desktop will kick in so sudo and we gotta use sorry sudo user mod dash md home uh, the new name you want and the old name of course mid finger so sudo user mod dash m d slash home new name whatever you want old name do not put a slash after the new name here all right so press enter and it didn't come back if you did if you went to su it'll kick in the mid finger account and you don't want that so just do a sudo on this. And the same thing, uh, sudo user mode mod, sorry, dash L, new name, old name. So sudo user mod dash L, new name has to match obviously the new uh, directory and the old name. All right, and then sudo password for your use, new username of course that's going to be up to you and we just exit and hopefully I'll uh, when I continue this recording I'll be in another desktop the new desktop environment alright so it looks like it's successful uh, the new, new username now and if you open your file manager you see the it's under the new user and password. Now, a couple of things is we don't have any bookmarks on the side. 
So press Control H inside your home folder, and we look for the uh, .gtk dash bookmarks, and simply just replace it with uh, your username, if you wish, or just create new ones, new uh, bookmarks, or ignore this altogether. But Control S to save, and there we go. There's the uh, shortcuts we had originally. Okay. Once that's done. You probably want to delete the, uh, if you go up here, this test account. Uh, and make sure you grab anything off of this if you wrote anything to it. So uh, we'll just close this window and control alt -T now to open a window. Now we can go into SU and uh, rm-r slash home test press enter. And then user d-e-l-t-e-s-t. That's it. And we should uh, be fine if we go to our file manager. Let me go up one. It's the only user there. Okay. Now, if you're using LightDM, if you want to keep that, if you don't want to uh, use LightDM as the login manager, you just want to type start X or use a different one, just to type in system control disable LightDM dot service or just say LightDM and. Uh, restart and choose whatever you wish but if you want to keep it um, if you want to have a logo the arch logo or you can change it but you have to have spe specific size um, for the PNG file so again we'll go back to our file manager and it's uh, like TM accounts manager is in uh, uh, var slash lib slash capital A account accounts service. You see there's users here and uh, you can open a terminal here and uh, remove that sudo rm test. Okay. Now apparently, um, if you open this, it's going to look for the, the way this works, it's going to look for the old username and it's going to be uh, the old username here as well. So again, we'll open a terminal or you can open this as root, say, make it a little easier. Just press F2 and call it your new username and then we're going to have to edit this so it says your new username dot png save quit and let's go up a directory icons and let's open a terminal here and type in move mv um, mid dot png to your new username dot png Okay, and then we'll go up one and just double check. It says it's looking for it in VR lib accounts service icons and the username. Okay, and that's where it is. All right, and when you uh, log out, and hopefully you'll see an arch logo, and I should have mentioned, I'll go back to that again. Lib. Account service icons. I don't know. It'll give us image property. Is it has to be 96 by 96, and uh, I think I actually suggest using the images if you wish from their uh, artwork, which is included in this uh, release. But I think you get the idea anyway. Okay, so again, it's a live install. Uh, apologies for the. Uh, Crackling audio at the beginning. Uh, I had to make some changes to ALSA, but once I installed the system, I was able to fix that. But uh, so on the fly in installation, along with changing the username and some of the changes that are upcoming in the next release. And I know a lot, um, some have been asking for uh, either a command line installer or a 
graphical installer, it's going to be pretty tough to do because I'm, for one, I'm not a coder, um, and for another, the environment's already set. Um, I'll see what I can do though, but um, once you can change your username and your password, it, it shouldn't be uh, really much need for a, a GUI installer. And this is targeted at, at advanced users. I, I wasn't really thinking of new users. Maybe down the road I will. And this is also 64-bit only. And it's um, also single desktop user environment uh, targeted as well. Um, just the way I created the user um, accounts, the user account, my account, is set up for just a single user. If you want to use multi-user, uh, you have to look at the Arch Linux Wiki, of course, or down the road I can uh, make a video and uh, uh, show you how you would set that up for multi-user uh, desktop environment. Okay? So I hope that answers some questions. And uh, to everybody that's tried this and installed it in VirtualBox or on their system, thank you so very, very much. I very much appreciate you um, people trying this and out to all the others that have downloaded and I can't thank you enough so with that said thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon and bye for now